So check it out. Rub a dub dub. Let's see here. Uh, rub a dub dub. Three fools in the tub. And uh, who do you think they are? Who do you think they'd be? The baker, the candlestick maker, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. All of them. All three. All three. You, you get it. You get it. The, the butcher, the baker, and a candlestick maker. It's telling the truth. Frogs are going to come out of the mouth. All three of them. The butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker. So the baker would be the false prophet baking cakes as fast as he can oh man it's something else you know Kirk Richard was right he was right back in the day back in the day he was he was running uh, you know he would yep 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 he, he was uh, he sure was the butcher the baker the, the candlestick maker so there's your there's your dragon yeah, there's your dragon. Uh, what is the dragon? I mean, the beast and the false prophet, right? The, the butcher, the, the baker, the candlestick maker. So the, so the baker's the false prophet. I know that for a fact, because I am a great baker. <laughs> I bake those, uh, those stuffed peppers. That, that's who the baker is, the false prophet. Yep, 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 it's the false prophet. Being all, all being controlled, all being controlled, being controlled by one entity, one entity, one spirit. Uh, it'll be in control. Just, just so you know, uh, you know, just so you know. So, um, uh, there's no searching for my understanding. I mean, that's that's why I am who who I says I am, and uh, and they know that they know that. So, yeah, you know, they know it. So it's uh, it's just a matter of. Uh, it's just a matter of time now until uh, you know you know David's kingdom was taken by force he was taken by force back then <clears throat> uh, the kingdom with David it was it was given to David and his kingdom was taken by force and um, you know ever since the days of John John the Baptist well there's a David David did it did bloodline that it's on the earth right now there's there's one king it's in the kingdom if it, if it can be taken back any time, I don't know. I mean, people aren't going to have to suffer that, that destruction that's coming. Uh, you know, it's coming. That's, that's just my opinion. You know, of course, it's just my opinion, though. So you're either you're either with me or you're against me. You're either with, you're with me or against me. You're 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 either against me or you're with me. It's either one or the other. Okay. Okay. So uh, when you finally get it, man, when you finally get it. Do you want? What do you want me to do? I mean, it's not up to me. It's not. It's not up to me. You know, it's not. It's not up to me. You, you know, you all have free will. You have free will. You know, you know, free will. And I, I never, I never told anybody to worship me. I never told anybody to worship me. I never said it. And uh, it don't matter to me. <clears throat> and uh, in, <clears throat> in, a, in a, in a flash. I mean, flesh. Anyway, come on, AI, get it straight. It don't matter to me. I mean. In the flesh, I'm not seeking fame. I'm not seeking fame, fortune, you know, because I'm already, I'm already famous. I, I'm fortunate as all hell. So, I'm not seeking, you know, any of that stuff. Because I, I know when who's going to win the damn Super Bowl. You think I need money? <laughs> uh, man, I'm seeking uh, salvation. That's that's that's, <clears throat> that's one of the truest things you've ever said, Steve. So. Remember, I told you, I told you, I told you the butcher, I told you the baker, and the candlestick maker, all right? They have hijacked the kingdom. They have. I mean, they've, they've hijacked the kingdom, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> uh, and every, and controlling it ever since. <laughs> ever since, like, three unclean frogs, like, you know what I mean? Thinking that they, you know, they, they, not that they can't handle it, but they're going to, they're going to get caught in the end. I mean, you, you get shipped up out to the sea. You know, just so you know. So you know, okay, 
Okay, so uh, it's uh, it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time until the kingdom going to get taken back. If uh, if you're with me, or uh, if you're not with me, you're against me. Well, it's, it's those that are that are against me are the ones that are that are bringing they're bringing it here. They're going to uh, to cause all the destruction. They're going to cause it all. All they're going to cause the destruction. I mean, it doesn't matter to me. You know, if uh, it doesn't matter to me, like I said, in the flesh, because I win in the end. I win in the end. In the end, I win. I win in the end. The the writing's already on the wall. Um, it's already there. So uh, it's there for you to see it. And the book was already opened. I mean, there's there's another there's another book. There's a book in heaven. There's a book that's been uh, said to it's open. I mean, I, I, there's a book. There's books everywhere. It's a bookstore. Um, so the, the tears and books and remembrance, and it's full of a bunch of worthless babble. And the, those that have vain imaginations, and they they have they have no idea uh, that they're they're ha they have no idea what they're scribing in that book so uh, but the numbers are very very revealing so if you understand it you know, it would be so so you know um you know the butcher the baker the candlestick maker are they're all they're all going to be finished real soon so uh just keep uh keep making Keep making as fast as if the video is video as fast as you can, Baker. Is yes, because your time's running out. That's right, your time's running out. Sure, just keep making them there, Baker. Candlestick maker. All right, of worthless babble and those that have vain imaginations and uh, they have no idea who they are and they have no idea what they're scribing in that book. But the numbers are very revealing. If you understand it. So. You know. So. And you the know. The butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker. Are going to be finished soon. So. You heard him click. <laughs> You're finished. You heard him click. You're done. It's over. However, uh, let me just show you. Trying to keep from sinking, huh? Well, stop being a false prophet, Steve. Stop being the baker. Where was that one? Now here's some true words for you, Click. All right, here's some true words for you. Here I uh Wrote some words just for you, John. So that maybe you can um Poor John. Know who you receive from. 2424. Okay. Just to help you wake up a little bit better and understand the true meaning of the word. Okay. And understand the word just a little bit better. All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll give him the message. Hey, John, you need to understand the word just a little bit better. Because right now you're misunderstanding the word. You don't know what the word's telling you. The word's telling you to stop and repent. That's what the word's telling you. The word was with God in the beginning, and the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And the word is God. But it's the word of God. Let me go to 
Let me go to a... Own a business? You're going to want to hear this. With Let Next me... Insurance, everything is done 100% online. Next Insurance has great prices. Man. I'm a business owner, and I trust Next Insurance. I saw their high rating and no, went for this. it. Best... I once heard a wise man say, um, oh, guess how old the guy was that the guy, that, that shooter, I was, was it? Is where you can donate at, right there. On no, not that. Good one. Have our DVD for that ready by the time of that. Um, the, it's the, the, uh, the Wits video is that, where is it? It's a wise man once told me that this person was, I, it was 43 years old. Give, give, and you know, give me what you know. <clears throat> Oh, there it is. There it is. It's just... There was a shooting, right? It happened at the church. It happened at the church. And, um... I don't know where the church is, so that's why I said, um, because I was stalling. Maybe I would have... somehow knew the name of the church that I never knew. But is all the way back over here on this part of your screen here. He is the gunman. He's dressed in all black. He's 43 years old. Uh, He's 43 years old. I'm 43 years old as well. Uh, they did identify the gunman. I forget his name there. This man here had just, <clears throat> he's holding in his hand something. He had the communion uh, bowl there. And then the man yeah. behind him sitting down, the very large guy, he is... I uh, got a concealed weapon on. He's going to stand to try to draw, but the gunman will kill him before he can even get his In gun out. In six seconds, it's But the it's FBI it's agent was a little bit more proactive. Six seconds. I think he was already drawn and ready. He knew that this was six and go down, and he did the wisest thing. He did go for a headshot, uh, and I always was that way as well. I thought that, you know, you never know if the guy's wearing a vest or not. So if you're going to take him out, you got to do it the right way. Let me show you just how fast this all transpired. He says something to the uh, communion guy. Pulls the gun out. And action. He shot, he shot, he shot first. And it's over. That quick. Now, you know what? He shot first the man that was... Here's what I'm wondering. Is every single person in that room in on it? You know, in the church? Or is that one of them things where they, they, I can see how they would like doing this. You go to a regular place, <clears throat> you dress up, and you, know, you have your, your wig on and everything, and your fake beard. And you have the, the sound ready of the gunshot. And, you, you know, it's like you're, you're doing a live scene. It's a Hollywood scene, but you're doing it live. That's the whole thing that fools people because it's live. They don't think that they can do things live. All you got to do, you know, when you have that little tiny earpiece, you can talk forever live. You can do all kinds of reports that you've already practiced the day before on your lines that you were going to say the day of the event that took place because you already know it. I'm wondering if they went into a regular church you know, the pastor's in on it, the person, the actor, the, these people were in on it, obviously, the, oh man, the, the hero, the hero guy that shot the guy in six seconds. He shot him. So they were in on it. But how many of them were in on it? I'm leaning more towards that they're just doing it in public places live and whoever is in on it is in on it and whoever isn't in on it they don't need to be on it you push a little power pack that you explode your your blood and, and the guy shoots you and then everybody's like in the church like 
oh my God, I, I was really there. I seen, I heard a gunshot. I seen blood everywhere. It was real. And then it's like, I'm telling you, no to hell it ain't. But the people were actually there and actually seen it. That's what's going to happen with the second 9-11, the explosion in the football game at the link. Because people are going to see it. They're going to believe it because they heard it. They see dead people laying on the ground with blood splatter everywhere. And they're going to think it's real. One, two, three, four. Uh, let me go. Let, let me just not tell you what I'm doing and do it. Once upon a time in a faraway land, there was Rudy the tank. There as well. Jesus from... I could small talk right now, but what's the point? I could say a lot of ums and ohs and so ons and so and so forths, or not. Akodesh, Mikor Akodesh is, is from a cry, a holy cry, is literally what that means there. So we put all these extra words in there for the translation, but it's not what it really says. Did he just say extra words? I've been trying to eliminate extra words, too. A holy cry is literally what that means there. So we put all these extra words so, in there for the translation, but it's not what it really... That's exactly what he did. When I was listening to him the other day, and I'm hearing these extra words, and I'm... Yes, just yesterday. And I'm thinking, I gotta stop saying these extra words. When I was thinking that, and then I'm listening to him, I'm... I'm thinking, when he said so, thinking he he's saying these extra words, and then he said extra words. I'm like, I'm like man, this is that this is what Clex talks about. It really is. It really says. See? And also I want you to keep in mind. Also, it happens to be chapter two, three. Leviticus, chapter two, three. I was driving home from here's another story. You can't even make this stuff up. I was driving home from Reading on Route 422, driving east home, and there was an exit. It said exit 23. It said exit here now. You can't even make this stuff up. I mean, you can, but some people will tell you that you can't. In there for the translation, but it's not what it really says. It's not what it says, Steve. And also, I want you to keep in mind when we look at the Feast of Trumpets or Yom Kippur or any of the feasts, fulfillment doesn't necessarily have to be in a chronological order. Mm. All right? It's like people try to take the book of Revelation, put it in a chronological yeah, order. It doesn't make do any that. sense. I can take you one part of Revelation. You don't want to do that. You, you can look at the heaven and you can see how the weather is going to be, but you can't even tell by the heaven. I know, right? A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall be no, no sign, sign given, given to them except for the sign of the prophet Jonah. And he he left them and he departed. Right, right, right. Only the wise men knew the sign. Three guys, two studied underneath Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Those wise men knew the sign of his birth. They knew. I need a jack stand for that thing. We get an adulterous generation. They seek it. They have the signs, and they they say, "Who knows us? Who can tell us? And who says what? And where? And why? And how?" He's letting them know they were they were born in adultery. In other words, when your fathers were over there in Babylon, and rather than instead of studying. The word like they should have been studying, their fathers, the Levites, and the Kohanim, were